guys welcome back to my channel eat carbs not animals um, just wanted to I guess talk to you guys tell you a little bit about me uh, for those of you that are new to my channel I became a plant-based dieter February 1st 2018 because of my health because um, I don't want to get cancer and then the second reason uh, which came very shortly after was because of the abuse of the animals and consuming the animals when there's absolutely no need to. Um, I watched many documentaries, What the Health, Forks Over Knives, Cowspiracy, Earthlings, uh, The Starch Solution Diet, which you can watch Dr. McDougall on YouTube for free. All the other ones I watched on Netflix, they're all documentaries. And, um, you know, uh, Food Inc. I mean, I think that was one of the first ones I ever watched. Food Inc. about McDonald's and the way they stuff their, their chickens in these cages. And, oh my God, it's just horrific. Anyway, um, so I just wanted to touch base with everybody today. Um, I'm driving, so I'm not going to, like, look over at you guys. I wanted to tell you guys that, you know, doing this isn't easy. It's not like I'm somebody who's like all high and mighty and, you know, decided to just do this. You know, there's a higher self, there's a conscious mind, there's a, you know, the yin and the yang, the good and the bad in, in all of us. And my point is, is after knowing, let's say, you know, before I didn't know and I didn't I was I loved chicken it was one of my favorite meals and I loved cheese and I would eat blocks and blocks of cheese you know on a weekly basis if not every day I mean there wasn't a one day that I would go without having cheese and crackers you know whether it be Swiss or extra sharp cheddar or you know Colby or whatever I always ate crackers and cheese and then of course chicken fish seafood crab legs um, I did eat turkey bacon almost every single day. Turkey bacon and eggs. Oh my gosh, I was doing the low carb diet and uh, would not eat any carbs at all. Not one carb. I would not eat a potato chip. I would not eat a piece of bread. I wouldn't, you know, it's just crazy because, you know, now I eat french fries every single day and I'm losing weight. So it's just, that's a myth, y'all. It's not about body size. Oh, your body type is different than mine. You're, you're, 5'8 and 155 pounds so you can hide it better. No, it's not about that. It's about eating processed foods as opposed to eating non-processed foods. Period. Across the board. That's all it is. If it comes out of a can or a bag or from a fast food chain, it's been processed. Okay? Um, if it comes from an animal, obviously it's processed. It's put with preservatives and shit that causes cancer, type 2 diabetes, Alzheimer's, everything, autoimmune disorders, even psoriasis. Did you know if you cut out animal and animal byproducts, it will cure your psoriasis? No lie. This is what happened to somebody that I know very, very close to me. And this was all, right now it's August. This all has taken place since February of this year. So it's true. Um, also acne, it will clear up all acne. So and that's it. That's the basis. Don't eat processed foods as much as you can. Now, am I saying you, you know, can't have chips every once in a while? Sure. If you want to cheat and have chips, that's better than eating animals or animal byproducts. But you got to remember there's other additives and preservatives in these chips, like the oil and things of that nature that's going to cause harm to your body. If you want to cheat once in a while, by all means do it. The animals. Anyway, I got on a tantrum and I don't remember now. I, I My point was is that I had blinders on before. I had blinders on. Honestly, I don't even know if there were blinders. It was a, more of a unknowing. I had no idea. The internet has brought to me so much knowledge and power that I never had before. I'm 43 years old and had no idea about vegans veganism. I heard of vegetarian, you know, being a vegetarian. I, I had no idea about veganism, about taking a vegan stance. 
Um, I, I think I've heard of PETA maybe once or twice in my whole life. I mean, I maybe it is ignorance. I don't know what it is, but once you have the knowledge and the power and it's brought to you and you can see that it's causing cancer, you can see the damage that it's doing to these bodies and these studies and statistics and you see these pharmaceutical companies getting richer and you see these surgeons and doctors cutting into you and just charging insurance out the wazoo because they want to keep you sick. Now with this knowledge and power that I was given and seeing the animals being tortured, abused, pulled away from their mothers, killed right after birth. Oh my God, I can't even tell you. Uh, it's an understatement for pulling at heartstrings. It's almost like you, you can feel yourself if you have any empathy or uh, compassion at all. I felt my own heart breaking when I saw these things. And you can't help but to not unsee it. You can't unsee it. It's just not possible. And that's what led me to become a plant-based dieter or slash vegan dieter. It's so important that we as humans evolve. I don't know if any of you have heard of the red tide that's been affecting all the hundreds and thousands of sea life and fish and, uh, you know, uh, even a whale shark, um, sea turtles, they're all dying. And everybody's saying it has to do with us, us humans and the way that we're treating our planet. I mean, that's just hundreds of thousands of sea life. What about the billions and trillions of animals that we kill every year for food consumption? To eat for pleasure, for our taste buds. Are you serious? I mean, have you seen people who walk around with these big ass bellies and you think, can't help but think, oh, there may be a small pig in there? I mean, I'm serious. It's like nobody cares that all these billions and billions of animals are dying every year for consumption, but yet we still have starvation in, in, the United, in not only the United States, but starvation around the world, globally. This is ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going on the tantrum again. But I gotta tell you, people can live without eating animals. People can live without torturing cows that are standing on pavement in a factory somewhere, pavement, in a circle, with this pumping machine in the middle, until the cow's ankles buckle, and their knees bend to the ground, and they fall, breathing their last breath, because they're pumping milk for us, and cheese to provide for us, and then, once their last breath is gone, you know, they get some kind of truck or towing system that tows that cow, drags his body out to a pile. <clears throat> Pardon me. Anyway, I guess you guys can see where I'm going with this. That's just, yeah, I love cheese. You know, I would drink milk once in a while, but not often, but I loved my cheese and my yogurt, you know, everything that, that comes from these animals. And when I have to think about the torture and the lives that they have to go through to provide these things for me, then I would rather sacrifice having it. And that's how everybody should be. That's what I feel like. I feel like that's how everybody should be. So, do yourself a favor. Rewind this video if you have to. Watch the movies that I suggested. Become more knowledgeable. I mean, I cannot explain this enough that, and compare this to the Matrix because it is. It's like the freaking Matrix. You know, you take the red pill and you just stay... You know, you just stay ignorant. And, but if you take the green pill, your eyes will open. You will evolve and you will transform 
for the world, for yourself, for your family, for the better, for the better of the whole. All right, anyway, this is Jesse, eat carbs, not animals. Sorry for the rant, peace out.